G'day, this is Michael from O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. Look, about uh, two and a half years ago now, I bought this property. It's about seven and a half acres in size. It's pretty well, um, it was fenced pretty well all the way around except on the bush side. Um, it uh, was a bit light. <laughs> But the thing, it was super overgrown. It was so overgrown, it couldn't move. Uh, people have been putting um, old timbers and old buildings on there, just dumping it. It, had, it was a um, recycling type part, a section of it. And it was just piled high. It actually cost me about $50,000 just to clean the, um, to get rid of it because council uh, wanted me to um, remove it. And uh, the only way I could remove it was to get it all ground up and then um, I use it for wood chip, but it costs a lot. Anyway, um, moving on from there. Um, I then had fences and they were all overgrown, like I said. I had to use a bobcat to clean the place out. I'll try and find photos. I didn't video at the time, obviously, and I never, wasn't really thinking about YouTube at the time. Um, it's only because of Arms Family Homestead I started to... Actually, that's not quite true. Um, slightly redneck and a few others when I had quail and um, rabbits um, I watched those and and I got interested and then when I seen arms family it got me really uh, excited about it all and I said ah oh, I should try that but anyway uh, along this fence here that you can see behind me it was overgrown um, I did got permission to burn it off and Big mistake, it, it burned really well. But these posts have been here a long time and they were dry and I lost half of them. <laughs> I, uh, in, so I started to finally get around to this point to replace them. I stood to make sure the wire was up before that. But uh, yeah, so now I'm going a bit, I better push this away a bit better, yeah. So uh, now I'm starting to repair the fence. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a little bit of my repairs. Okay. What if he left his cars there? We can leave all the cars. We leave all the cars there. It looks busy. What do you think? Yep. to do here is put some posts in. I burnt off the fence line and the problem with that was some of the posts burnt. <laughs> okay that's a problem.
otherwise it's gonna um yep. smoke wood off. Yep. Yeah, you get the boat cat. Sand actually grinds it. So. Yeah. So we tamp down the uh, ground to um, make it more compressed around it so the pole stays in stronger. But the other problem we've got is we haven't got enough soil. And if there's not enough soil, um, like a, a, a rise up to the post, water can sit there and help cause it to rot. So I'm going to pinch a bit of dirt from everywhere. Here's a bit of a chunk. I'm trying to see how the fence got to go, where it's got to come up to. I didn't do anything in anything. Now, put your finger on the fence. Put your fence on the fence. Now, put your finger on the fence, on the post. A little higher. Uh, a little lower. That's where it's got to go to. Basically that mark there. There. And that's how far it's got to come up.
about to hit this dam. Five to six hundred. Well, you can't go any more. Because it's such a big job, because a lot of posts are burnt out, we're just doing uh, two or three at a time. Okay, and uh, a lot easier using the bobcat to lift the wire and stuff like that.
I don't think it needs to be lifted this one. Ah, no. uh, there they will. Yeah. So, what I'd like you to do is like it, like smash it, subscribe to me, and to um, ring that bell. It'd be great if you could do all that. Thank you very much.